Okay, then I'll put out, let's put our newfound powers to use. Here is a very dry, typical textbook Algebra 2 problem. It gives me a quadratic. Y equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 6, and it's asking me this whole gob of stuff to do about it. Very joyless. Why am I doing it? Don't know. Just, just routine practice, I guess. But the questions we're asked is A, find its vertex. B, find the line of symmetry. I've never used the word line of symmetry. I have no idea what that means. I guess I just have to figure it out. C, rewrite the quadratic in vertex form, whatever that means. No idea. D, sketch the graph of the quadratic. E, find where the quadratic crosses the x axis. F, find where the quadratic crosses the y axis. Okay. All right. Well, we are adult selves. We can do whatever we like. Why well, shouldn't go away and not do this problem at all? That's not the true answer. If I'm really going to do this problem, my first point, piece of advice is there's nothing that says you have to do the questions in the order they're presented to you. I can do this in any order you like. In fact, I'm going to go straight for D because D is to sketch the thing. And a picture speaks a thousand words. In fact, my, my basic advice is always just sketch a thing because once you've got a picture of something, most everything just falls in place by staring at it and looking at it and using common sense. So my advice is always go for drawing a picture. All right, so we know this is going to be a symmetrical U-shaped graph with a fairly uh, high steepness, steepness of 2. So it's going to be an upward-facing graph. I need to look for interesting x values, uh, which means I'm going to focus on the x part of this graph. Uh, that, I can see a common factor of 2x. Let me put out 2x, x minus 4 plus 6. So that tells me right off the bat that x equals 0 is interesting, get an output of 6, and x equals 4 is interesting, also get an output of 6. So I've got two symmetrical inputs at 0 and 4, both giving me an output of 6. So my graph is a symmetrical U-shaped graph going through here. I can see that the vertex must be happening at 2, halfway between 0 and 4. Let me quickly put in x equals 2 to see how high that vertex is. Uh, when x is 2, I get uh, 4 times negative 2, that's negative 8, plus 6 is negative 2. So it's down below the x-axis at negative 2. All right, bingo. My graph must look like this. Symmetrical U-shaped graph, like yonder. All right, anything I can answer very quickly right now? Well, yeah, part A, find its vertex. There it is. I guess the vertex is at, oh, let's do a really bad technique here, x coordinates 2, y coordinates negative 2. The vertex is at 2, negative 2. Done part A. I guess we've done part D. Find its line of symmetry. Well, what does that mean? Well, this must be a line about which it's symmetrical. There must be this vertical line. Okay, I bet the line of symmetry is the equation of that line at x equals 2. In fact, that is the equation of the line. The line is x equals 2. All the points x, y having x equals 2. Great, part B done. Part C, we write the quadratic in vertex form. Don't know what it means, skip it. Part E, find where it crosses the x-axis. Hmm, not obvious yet. Part F, find where it crosses the y-axis. Oh, right there, at y equals 6. That was done. All right. Next part, so we've got part C and E to do now. Um, let me tackle just part C. Rewrite the quadratic in vertex form. I've never used the word vertex form in my classes. Um, I don't really know what it means right now, but if I had to make a guess, it must be something, rewrite this equation, let's rewrite the equation, in some way about the vertex. Somehow that features the vertex. So I bet they mean some equation that makes the vertex very obvious in what's going on in the equation. Well, given the work we've done in previous lessons, I bet they want me to tell you it's just y equals x squared that's been moved over so 2 is the new 0 and shifted down. I bet the equation is y equals x minus 2 squared, so say that 2 is behaving like 0 for the x values, and everything shifted down. That's, made, that's an equation that's used, used perfectly good form of the vertex. I bet that's the vertex form of the equation. Trouble is, steepness. There might be a steepness factor. Now, I can either be clever or not clever. Let me just tell you what the not clever part is, but it's still just fine. To work out what the steepness factor is, I can put in just a point. Maybe I'll put in like x equals 0, y equals 6, and solve for the steepness factor. Or I can just sort of step back for a moment and realize if I were to expand this out, I'd get, do all the algebra, I'd get something like ax squared plus the rest of the stuff. But I know it has to equal 2x squared. The steepness factor, by pure reasoning and common sense, has to be 2. That has got to be the vertex form of this equation. Just using common sense. There it is, part C, done. E, find where the quadratic crosses the x-axis. All right, change your color because I, it's getting messy here. I guess I need to find those x-intercepts. How am I going to do that? Well, that's where my graph has output of 0. That is where this formula has y equals 0. So I guess I need to solve for part E, 0 equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 6. 
Okay, this looks ripe for the box method. Now, the box method would say, make this first term a perfect square, so probably multiply it by three by two, which I can do. But, you know, it won't get me wrong, but I'm just notice something. We've got a lot of even numbers here. Let me divide everything through by two. This is really x squared minus four x plus three equals zero divided by two. And that looks pretty good for the box method. I've got a perfect square. I've got an even coefficient for the middle term. Maybe we'll just try the box method right now. And I'm giving myself very little room here. Uh, x squared piece must come from x times x. Two pieces the same, because we love symmetry. See how symmetry is our friend? Symmetry for the graph, symmetry for the box. Uh, two pieces the same, negative four x, negative two x, negative two x. Something times x is negative two x, negative two, negative two, which means I want the number four there. I don't have the number four, I have the number three. Let's add one to both sides. So the equation is really x squared minus four x plus four equals one. Why do I like x squared minus four x plus four? Well, that's all the stuff in the box. That's telling me it's really Square, all that stuff in the box is the square x minus 2 times x minus 2, squared is 1. Uh, level 1 problem, something squared is 1, so by something better be 1 or negative 1, add 2 throughout, x is 3 or 1. Up, oh, these, these intercepts are actually very nice numbers, 1 and 3. So where's it cross the x axis? At x equals 1 and x equals 3. I'll get full points for my math, I'll lose points for my presentation. This presentation is pretty bad. Okay, do a better job presenting stuff. But there it is. That's a typical textbook question in algebra. And I bet you can nut your way through most any textbook question in algebra now. Even if they use terms and language you don't know, if you just try to use educated guesses and common sense, you can, you can figure it out. In fact, all of it. So practice some of the questions in this, uh, in this section. Read the text slowly. Do it much slower than I do. These are just quick overview videos to get us started. So you can read the text and look at the video again and make some more sense of it. Um, do all the work. Go through, go through it at your own pace, be kind to yourself, be patient with yourself, just do whatever pace works for you, and all shall be golden. Thanks so much.